so hello guys welcome back today in this video i'll be telling you all about development of the spinal cord as in my previous videos i've already explained you about that there are two neuropores in the neural tube the cranial one and the caudal one cranial one closes after 25th day and the caudal closes at 27th day now the transverse section of a fifth week old or the five week old fetus shows three zones the matrix zone the mental zone and the marginal zone later on in this video i'll tell you about how the gray matter and how white matter of the spinal cord is formed and how the spinal cord gray matter takes edge shape structure now let me make some diagram so this is the spinal cord of a five week old fetus This is the dorsal nerve root ganglion. In this particular video, I'll be only showing you the main regions. So guys now seeing here this part is the sulcus limitants which will divide it into the anterior horn and the posterior horns and the lateral horns outer to the sulcus limitants this is the matrix zone now outer to the matrix zone there is a small this is the marginal zone And this outermost part okay this is this is marginal zone and this is mental zone sorry now let me tell you that first of all coming on to the matrix zone matrix zone is thick it during the development the proliferation of cells takes place mainly by the process of mitosis so now when this region undergoes mitosis it results in the formation of two types of cells which are the neuroblast cells and the spongioblast cells the neuroblast cells will later on develop into the neuron and spongioblast cells will develop into the neuroglial cells which are also called as a supportive system of the nervous system <clears throat> now let me tell you that how the gray matter and white matter in the spinal cord is formed in this region you can say in the mental region here are the cell bodies of the neurons so this is the mental region you can say this is the cell body and the exons of these neuron enters into the marginal zone this is the reason why the gray matter as i have already you might be knowing that gray matter contains cell body of neuron and white matter contains exon of the neuron now as here are the cell body and here is the axon so later on this will the mental zone will develop into the gray matter and the marginal zone will develop into the this is the marginal zone it will develop into the white matter now one thing it must be noted as i have already told you the formation of gray matter takes place from the mental zone uh, myelination and non myelination i'll be telling you so guys as already i have told you that how the gray matter and the white matter of the spinal cord are formed uh, let me make here a small section of the spinal cord this is the transverse section of a spinal cord now 
now this was the gray matter and this was the white matter of the spinal cord this was uh, formed from the mental zone means here will be the cell bodies and here will be the egg zone so i hope you have understood this now what will happen the sulcus limitans will result okay this sulcus limitans will, will result in the formation of the four types of you can say regions or you can say this can be the alar region and the basal region which will later on develop into the anterior horn and the posterior horn okay so this was the sulcus limitants this was the whole spinal cord now the two main important things this is the anterior end of the this is anterior end of spinal cord this is posterior end of spinal cord anteriorly here will be the formation of this is called as alar lamina and this will be the basal lamina and this will be sulcus limitans as in my further videos i'll be telling you that the anterior horn is always motor the posterior horn is always sensory so guys this was the information about the development of spinal cord the main things which we have to remember in the development of spinal cord is that there are mainly <clears throat> three regions the matrix mantle and marginal the mental zone consists of cell bodies mental contains cell bodies the marginal contains axons now so this was the whole information later on in the further videos i'll be telling you about that how the central canal of the spinal cord is being formed thank you for watching this video i hope you all like this video